it just adds a little bit of that thrill the excitement and so many women are like oh i'm bored you know it's like if they have a good man they're like oh i'm bored i'm bored and there's one friend of mine her sister has two children one of them is just a few months old and she wants to leave her marriage of 13 years because she's bored and her husband's a good man and i'm like i just want to smack her and i'm like how dare you how dare you um you know someone like that needs to go a little whipping on their bottom i'm just saying mm -hmm. they don't have no sense of reality <laughs> So anyway, but, um, so, you know, start easy. Don't have high expectations or a whole bunch of expectations, you know, that it's going to be magically all of a sudden just fall into place. And, you know, you're going <laughs> to picture yourself like in a movie or something, although it does become that way, but you know, I'm just saying, be easy, be easy. Don't women tend to obsess and overdo everything, overthink everything. It's like, just let it be. Men are so simple. And with this whole social experiment that we've been doing, uh, you know, my husband's like, listen, again, I never asked for it. I'm completely content and I'm fine. If things that happen in the future and, you know, we, whatever, you know, at that time, so be it. But he's like, this isn't something that I'm like, oh, I have to, let's go do this, you know, because I've offered quite a few times. <laughs> And I appreciate that. And I, I've told him numerous times, and he's very grateful, and he agrees, that I'm grateful for this entire whole social experiment for the openness and the dialogue it allowed us to have. So, you know, you want to be one with your honey. You want him to be able to talk to you about whatever, you know. And again, women don't understand that men are men. You know, you don't think, girl... Lord have mercy, honey bunny, I hate to tell you, baby. He can look, men can look at beautiful women all day. And they might keep a little registry in their mind if all these, you know, because I think they have like photographic memories or something like they can pull up, you know, video clips in their mind of all kinds of stuff. So anywho, but, um, but in his heart, you know, he keeps you there. Like if you're a good woman, you're his woman. He, that's your place. He ain't going to move you anywhere, um, you know obviously you have your messed up situations but i'm talking about stable people like us <laughs> who've been together who you know trust each other who know each other um it can be a very wonderful thing so either way just the conversation just the openness is really needed because if he cares about you then he's also going to see how you're reacting how your body's doing with everything you know uh as far as nervousness anxiety getting upset you know but I, it's a whole nother video but i will say that your feelings are not as important mm -hmm, as what he wants okay safe sane consensual within a reasonable parameter you know he's the one that is going to provide protect you know take care of you and your family um so he is the prize you know you want his last name his dna his retirement his resources his time you want everything from him he is the prize so we have to be agreeable adjustable uh amicable <laughs> all the a's uh you know just cooperative and as understanding as possible different men need different things so you know and if you're his woman and you chose him and he chose you and you said yes then you need to reverence him and do everything you can to submit to him and give him what he wants mm -hmm. um you know i've already made my disclaimer so i'm not gonna make any more but it just becomes a beautiful environment you know your home is your garden of eden it certainly can be you know, but you have to have the right perception. It's like looking through life, people say, you know, through rose colored glasses or something. Um, I don't know what kind of glasses you call them, but someone called me the husband whisperer. I really like that, the husband whisperer. That's pretty cute. Um, so yeah, look through those eyes or put those, you know, it's more like headphones. We need headphones because men are visual, we hear. You know, everything goes through our ears. Uh, so, you know, put those headphones on that are the husband whisperer and understand your man is a man it is not even his fault that his eye is drawn to beautiful women he's literally wired that way how can you be angry at him it's not his fault that his mind takes photographic pictures 
it's not now he is responsible for what he looks at but you know whatever um and i mean that as far as how long he looks you know there's a difference between looking and longingly desiring right so whatever um then of course you have porn and all that so you know it, their mind just absorbs it it just is what it is so again it's that driving force that driving desire that allows the human race to continue and look what's happening the more that we give women the more choices they have the less children they have the less they're getting married by 2030 morgan stanley study says that over 51 percent of women will be single and childless mm, that's what happens when we let women decide and then guess what happens to them they grow old bitter and alone and their careers don't comfort them and their dogs can only do so much yeah i've heard some weird things about that but anyway um anyhow and uh they're not happy they thought they weren't happy you know or they thought they were living the best time of their life. I saw another meme that showed, you know, when men graduate college, they're like, yes, now I can provide for a good woman. Women graduate college and they're like, yes, now I don't need no man. Hmm, mm-hmm, there's a big difference between the mindset of men and women right now. Anyway, that's why I love domestic discipline. It puts everybody back in their place.